Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. First and foremost, thank you for joining us here on the show this morning. We are going to do a lot of the things we do every uh, week on this show. So I will be taking callers from the call log. I will be answering questions in the chat and I will be channeling you um if you call in you get um to ask one question one question only no follow-up questions like <sighs> like well this is part of that question but i'm i'm just gonna keep going no 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 just one solid question. If you have a lot of questions or you have a very long question or questions about your question, please schedule an appointment. It's only fair to everybody else who is waiting in the call log to get, to have answers to their questions. Okay. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. If you'd like to join us live for the recording, you can join um, on YouTube. We, we stream every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. All righty. Um, if you do call in and you have a question, make sure you hit the one so that your hand raises in the call log and I know that you have a question. Um, that's just, that's how it goes. Otherwise, I think you're just listening in on the phone, which is fine. A lot of people do that. And I don't get to you to answer your question. Hey, Patrick, uh, Michelle, Genevieve, Julie, um, Lolly. Hey, Lolly. Uh, Jay Francis, there are so many people in the chat right now. Join in, have conversations with them. It's it's really good. A uh, couple quick things. Um, don't get scammed. I never reach out to anyone. I know I say this on every show, but it's true. There are a lot of people out there running um, scams, and they use um, YouTube or social media. Please don't get scammed. Even if somebody replies under my, you know, a post that I make that they do certain types of work, please do not get scammed. I'm just because they're replying under my post does not mean I know them, I've ever met them, or they've ever been a client of mine. They're just scammers. So please don't, don't get scammed. Um, the only way I do readings is what is over the phone or in person. I will not email you a reading. I will not text you a reading, mostly because I don't want my dyslexia to show up. <laughs> but also, that's just a lot of energy and spirit talks so fast to me, I probably couldn't get it out. It would be horrific. I'm just saying. <laughs> You'd be trying to figure out what the words are. And no, I don't do it. Either over the phone or in person. Those are the ways I do my readings no other way if if somebody is saying they are me and trying to email you a reading or uh text you a reading just know that's that's not me and most of my people already know that so just know that okay uh let's see okay songs and names oh i almost forgot about that today oh my goodness um oh by the way all of my um I'm putting all of as many TikToks as I can on YouTube Shorts. I started, I re-established my Twitter slash X account yesterday, and I'm doing that also. So um, all of them are going there also. So that's back up and going. Um, but songs, let's go to songs first. They're saying just do the songs. So I'm going to do the songs. The first song is Love Me Tender. Now these songs can be a song you know 
they know and loved or that you knew they know and loved. It could represent a moment in your life or it could be an answer to a question. The first song is Love Me Tender by Elvis. The next song is Berry White or just Berry White in general. And then the next song is um, This was on last week too. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Come on, come on. Um, then the next song is, um, oh, they're not really coming through with a lot of songs this morning. They're, they're not. Okay, so let's go to names. If more songs or artists come through, um, I will bring that, but we're going to go to names. The first name is Jack or Jacko, Jacqueline, any of those, any, all three of those, Jack, Jacko, and or Jacqueline. The next name is Bob. The next name is Maricelis, 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 or Maricelis. Uh, the next, they're, show, they're spelling it for me, and I am like, yeah, that, that no, yeah, that's not helpful. Um, the next name is um, Jenkins. The next name is um, Marie. The next name is um, Paulo. The next name is Andrew. The next name is Vivian. The next name is it's Lila or Lilith or both because I'm hearing both. The next name is Romero, Romero, I could be saying that wrong, please, please forgive me. Um, the next name is Jeff or Jeffrey, and then the next name is David, and then the next name is Jules or Julie, the next name is um, Meredith, the next name is, I think it's Beatrice, Beatrice, and then Evelyn, and that's it for names. Okay. Um, so that's it. Now I'm going to go to callers and I'm going, I'm, I'm, I was going to channel this morning, but they're telling me the information that I was going to channel is supposed to just not come out yet. Not quite yet. So I'm going to go to callers and then I'm going to go between callers and um, and chat questions. If I miss your question in the chat, please repost it. I'll get to it as soon as I can and uh, we will go from there. Okay. I'm going to take a caller first. Please remember callers. I'm going to say your name and your area code. And then just please let me know uh, one question, a specific question. It cannot be, please tell me about my next six months because I'm just going to mute you and say, get a reading. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, 561, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hi there. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What's your name and where are can you, you calling? Me? What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Penny. This is Stacey. I'm calling from Florida. I just want to know when you see a job coming in. Okay, I hear next month, and that's not a bad thing because next month is right around the corner. It's next week, as a matter of fact, um, March. I feel like 
on or by March 15th, you're going to know where you're going to be working. You need to expand your search. You need to really expand either the type of work you're looking for or where you're looking for work or the kind of work you're looking for. Love, I need to mute you because you have some background noise going on, um, but I'm going to continue to answer. You need to expand like the the title, the type, or where you're looking for work. They're saying expand your search, um, expand your keywords if you're searching online. And you also need to go directly to a company, meaning maybe the company website, or just walk in and say, hey, what's up? Are you guys looking for someone? I also feel like, love, you are going to hear of a position through someone. So someone is either you're going to overhear a conversation or someone is going to tell you about a place that is hiring. And um, that's a really good lead that you should follow when you hear that, okay? I hope that was very, very helpful. Thank you so much for calling in and please call in again. I'm here every Monday at noon, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. I'm sorry about the background noise, and I hope that you did get the answer that you were looking for. Isabella, hi, Tony. Does my dad, Doug, have any messages for me in terms of my love, love or in, in terms of my love life or in general? See, this is why I don't text or email <laughs> readings. I can't even read, let alone type. Um, okay, the first thing your dad, Doug, wants to say. So I'm seeing somebody, I, I think he's showing me a vision of him when he was younger. I'm thinking dark hair. He seems like a solid built guy, like not a really thin guy um, when he was kind of, I don't want to say in his prime, but a little younger. Um and what I'm getting for you, Isabella, is that when it comes to love, don't settle. Don't say, well, it's okay, or oh, um, don't settle. I feel like, it. you know, it, what I'm getting for you, what he's saying, what I, what I feel like he's saying is, um, if you... If you settle, you'll have regrets and just hold out for what you want in love. It's out there. If you want it, it's out there. Um, and it will be coming in sooner than you think. Okay, Isabella, I hope that's really helpful for you. I really do. I hope that that is... Um, very good. In the chat, the next question is going to go to Julie. But Julie, before I take your question, I'm going to go to the call log and take 216. 216. What's your name and where are you calling from? This is Desmond calling from Cleveland. Hey, how are you today? All right, how you doing? Very good, thank yeah, you. Uh, my question was, um, is this, uh, I don't know, Young lady, I've known for a while, but um, she's a good catch and everything. But I don't really don't think she's for me. But all my friends is like, I don't know, I, why, why not? But it's, it's just, I just don't get those butterflies. I don't, I don't really think. Okay, she's meant for me, person. All right, what I'm gonna say to you is, if you have that feeling, let her go. Let her go find somebody who knows that she's the one and then the one will come for you. Don't stay with someone just because they're there. If you're questioning it, there's something inside of you. It doesn't matter what your friends think or say, they're not the ones that are taking on the 24 seven commitment. Men know, I think it's my understanding when that person comes in, a man knows. If you don't know, no, and it's not even that they got those butterflies, they just get a feeling. Remember, butterflies can be nervousness or love, either way. But you just look at this person and you know they're going to be with you for the long haul, good and bad. Um, 
you can sense they're a good match for you personally. So if you don't have that with this person, you know, cut her loose, let her go, and then put all your energy into what you really want. And if you took a look at, you know, obviously there is something missing here with this particular person. Otherwise, you would not be questioning it. What I say, once you let go and you get kind of back out there, you should meet somebody between now and June, given the fact that you completely cut the energy and you move on. Between now and June, maybe into the beginning of June, you will probably meet the person. Now, I say probably because you need to be out and about and you know, keep your eyes out of your phone and what's going on around you. I feel like you may even meet this person at a family event. And I'm going to say something else for you and everybody listening. Um, don't waste people's time in a relationship when they're building towards a future and you're not. Uh, that's the most devastating thing uh, that can happen to a person. And I'm sure we've all been through it. Um, let them go find what they want while you go find what you want. And I'm not being harsh. I'm just channeling here. And, um, and, and I believe this is your grandma or your aunt. She's very full figured woman coming through in a, what she's calling a house dress. And she is saying, listen, you already know the answer. Don't let peer pressure push you into something that won't be solid and you need to just uh, get to move in in the right direction and I do feel like okay I feel here's what I'm going to tell you I think in June in June there's going to be some sort of family something I don't know. It could be a birthday. It could just be you going out to dinner with one other person from your family. There's going to be, don't think it has to be some big picnic in a park, although it could be. And when I say you meet this person at or because of a family event, it doesn't mean they're at your family event. Like if you go out to eat with a family member Obviously, that person is not going to be there. However, they may be two tables over. They may be, you know, sitting at the bar by themselves. What I do feel like, though, this is more likely, be open to indoor events, but this is more likely an outdoor event that is going to help you uh, find this person. And I do feel like family members will be there. I'm even hearing family members will be involved. Okay. That's what I'm getting for you. I hope that's absolutely helpful for you. Oh, okay. Thanks for that. That was very insightful. Yeah, that, that's that's what we do. That's what we do over here. <laughs> um, remember, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to call and call back and ask. Okay, love. All right. Thanks a lot. You're so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is eight. Four five two seven seven nine one three one. Um, the next question in the chat is: um, uh, Hi, Tony. My question is: Why Rich won't play mixed doubles with me for the upcoming tournament? He told me it's because his girlfriend Fab does not want him to play with me. Well, Julie, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty true. <laughs> Listen, Julie, just because, listen, women can be territorial and that's their right. If you are in a serious, committed relationship with someone and they want to be, and you want to be a little territorial over someone for whatever reason, we honor other women. 
women should be honoring other women, not um, interfering with whatever they have going on. Now, if this is her insecurity, that's that's none of our business, right? Maybe she's a little insecure about him. That's none of our business. It's our job to honor other women regardless of. Now, I will personally tell you, I've had some very interesting experiences when it comes to friends and people I have dated to the point where I will never introduce a person I'm dating to a friend again. Um, and I've heard a lot of interesting things in my office about people with their partner's friends. If there are so many people in this world, why your partner's friend? Like there's betrayal and then there's betrayal, betrayal. Um, <clears throat> I'm not judging, I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to say to you, <clears throat> what I'm going to say to you is honor what the girlfriend wants. Find somebody else. And don't, don't question it. If you were in her shoes and you asked your partner to do or not do something, you would hope he would respect you enough to honor that and that the other person would respect you enough to honor that also. That's all I've got. That's it. I'm going to go to the next caller. I think the next caller is 585. 585, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, hey, Tony. Um, bless you for taking my call. And you actually um, named my grandmother and my mother during the names. Oh, did I really? I love that. Oh, thing. yes. Uh, I was like, oh, that's my mama and my big mama. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much for confirming that for me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You are. It makes me feel so good. Well, thank them. They came through for you. Um, what's your question, love? Um, my question is, Tony, I just left, uh, um, I had signed a new lease for this other company and I got a kind of shock um, about some things. Now, my moving date is not until April 1st. And I really, I want it because I want to move to where I'm at, but I don't because it would be kind of a pinch for me. So I'm just wondering um, what I should do. Okay. The first thing I'm hearing is if you're going to, if you're, if you signed that lease and they gave you different information after signing, cancel the lease and say, no, this isn't, this is a different set of rules than what you gave me. If, uh, but you have to cancel right away and keep looking and you have to find something yeah. fairly quickly. I do feel like you will find something within a month. Now, I don't know if that means within the month of February. I am getting a soft yes on that. You may find it, but it may not be confirmed for two to three weeks. But you will find something fairly quickly if you decide to cancel this. But you have to have the facts in canceling the first lease like, okay, we the I thought it was this after I signed, you told me it was this. Now, in most states, especially with leases, you have 72 business hours, but you have to look at your own state. 72 business hours, meaning Monday through Friday um, business, to cancel any contract you sign. Every state is different. Check your state. You may okay. lose money that yeah, it's, the, it's the lease for the new apartment, um, not, my, not the apartment I live in now. Okay. Now, if you cancel, be prepared. You may lose money even if they lied. Now, however, if you can go back to them and say, listen, this is what I was told, and it's very different than what you're doing. I need you to fix this. And see what they say. If you really want that place, they may work with you. Um, but you may have to, you know, figure out how you can cancel 
that lease or bring the evidence, the proof of what they changed so that they change it back for you. Okay. 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 Those are your I appreciate only... it. Thank you for all your expertise. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. I hope this helps you and um, and keep us posted on what comes next. Okay, Kayla? I sure will. Thank you. You Bye -bye. are so, so welcome. You are so, so welcome. Okay. I'm going to go to the next uh, question. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go down a little bit. So if I miss anybody, please forgive me. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, Julie, I think I answered your question already. Uh, a question from first name, last name is when do you see me moving to a more permanent location? I want to buy my own home. Okay. You are going to buy a home. Is it going to be in 20? It is going to be in 2024. Is it going to be in the spring, summer, late summer? It's going to be, okay, you may find this home. I may be telling you things you are already aware of, but I'm I just I'm going to say everything they're telling me. You may find this home in March and it may get an offer and then um you might think it's a done deal that that home is already gone and it's a home you really liked but it for whatever reason that offer is not going to go through but it's going to take a little time. And thank goodness the first offer came through because that's going to for, force the buyer to look at their selling price and um, so why ever that offer didn't go through and then you'll have a second shot at that property now if you don't find a property during March um, it's a property you didn't see that was already having an offer on that's going to be back on the market and I feel like when that property hits the market again and it may even be it's going to be either the second and or the third time this property hits the market and it's because of little stipulations or things in the contract. I feel like when that happens, you're going to see the property and put in an offer, but make sure you make your real realtor find out why that property didn't go through the first two times and get honest answers. Okay, make sure you do that. I feel like by September, you will, if you're ready, you have to take the actions, you have to take the motions, you have to get everything ready according to what you need for this property. I know you know that. I'm just saying what I'm saying. It's the same thing as if I tell somebody, you can meet somebody in June, but not if you sit on your couch eating pizza. You have to get up get out okay you have to be diligent about your search don't just depend on a realtor you have to be on all the sites zillow and every site looking because certain sites like depending on where you live they're going to put their listings first and other listings second, or they might not post certain listings. You have to get on everything. And I'm hearing, okay, this is cool that I'm hearing this. This might be. <laughs> this might be why the first two didn't go through. There might be something going on with this property and it might end up being a short sale. And you can talk to a realtor about that and find out maybe the first two people couldn't or wouldn't, because I keep hearing contingency and then I heard short sale. So make sure you're looking at Zillow for sure and look at um, possibly short sales um, too and make sure you're not getting in over your head on it. I always say when you're buying a property, even if you can afford this, go lower because if you can afford, let's just say, um, I'm just using it, fifteen hundred a month. Try to get something for between eleven and twelve hundred a month. 
because there are so many extra expenses with property ownership and realtors. If you say 1500, they try to push you between 18 and two. So make sure you're, you're staying in your comfort zone, not a I can zone. Um, but with the short sale, I feel like there's going to be something coming in and you're really going to like it. Um, just make sure you're not, you know, doing that. So that's what I have for you. First name, last name. I hope that is helpful. Um, uh, and yes, and that's what I have. That is what I have. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 850. 850. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Florida and my name is Michelle. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? I'm trying to make sure it's just one question. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I'm trying to be supportive. I want to go help my sister who is homeless. And we're building her a, 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 like a little mini trailer so she's not living out of her car. And I went to go defend her in court. And she's got three court hearings, one uh, over her child support, which is today. And another one is um, on the, the guilty charges. Three of the charges were, two of them were dropped. But one, she's going to be sentenced for in, in April. We're hoping to get it dropped. We don't know. And because um, she felt he felt like the judge ruled on emotion, not law. And um, so and then she's got to face her nursing license. So I'm like, what do you see happening with all this? It's just like it breaks my heart because for some reason, I, I've never been close to my sister. And it's the first time that I felt close to her and it just broke my heart when I left her because she was so sick. They did a blood transfusion. She wouldn't go to the hospital until after the court hearing. And of course they found her guilty. And so now she's got the sentence hearing in, in April, but she ended up having to get a blood transfusion. That's how sick she was not one, but two blood transfusions. So it was very hard to leave her. We're in the middle of doing the, the camper. Um, so she'll have something. She just got real depressed after her divorce and everything. She got sick from the COVID and it's just everything went downhill. So I guess I'm just kind of looking for what do you see her get out of all this mess? I mean, any light to this? I mean. Okay. I need to ask you uh, one quick question just to confirm something for myself, please. The charge that they found her guilty on, can you just briefly tell me what charge is that? Okay, it, um, it was three charges, and uh, she tried to save a cat, and so they acted as a veterinarian was the first charge. The second charge was medicine she gave her from another animal. They dropped that charge and the veterinarian charge, but they found her guilty on the animal cruelty charge, which I know she loves animals. I mean, oh, my God, she loves animals, and I know she's innocent, but they okay. found her guilty. And then, okay. so they got a sentence in her uh, April the 24th. Okay. And I'm like, the judge said he was going to appeal it, but I think they have to sentence you first before they can appeal it. So I'm like, what are, what happened? You know? Okay. So, uh, okay. Here's what I am going to say to you. And I, I, um, there's a lot going on here. So I'm trying in my head to cart compartmentalize what I'm hearing and the order I'm hearing it in. And I want to give you solid answers, not, well, this could happen or that could happen. If they're going to sentence her <clears throat> and she does not have a home, a, a permanent like address, they cannot do house arrest and it's unlikely they'll do probation. Unless she's in a treatment facility. Now, these are answers that I'm giving you also. So please pay attention to them. Please pay very, very close attention to what I'm about to say to you. Because in this answer is the answer to how they may sentence her. Not solid, just may. If she's in a treatment center or a health facility, mental health facility for even depression, they may sentence her to stay there for her sentencing. 
okay? May, it depends upon the judge. And if the judge sees that she's been in this facility for like a day, a week, and she's getting help, the judge could say, okay, we sentence you to, you know, stay there until yada, yada, yada. Okay. If they put her in, if they sentence her to time, she will probably end up doing a bit of time. Possibly um, the time won't be as much as people are thinking it, it, it could be, but she might. It's difficult to give probation if you don't have an address. That's why I think the I think like a halfway house, she needs an address. So like a what I'm hearing is a halfway house or a facility, a halfway house or a facility, even a rent by the week type of place or a facility. Um, it's something where she just has an address. So the judge has an option in sentencing is what I'm getting. That's going to be the most important thing for her. Now, regardless of how she feels about animals or anything like that, um, whatever comes next, comes next. And it just get through it. Don't feel responsibility and don't feel guilt for it. That's what I'm getting for you, love. I hope that that is really helpful for you. And I'm going to go to the next question on um, online. Uh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you so much for that, Patrick, online. Um J.A. has a question. I have a question. Will I pass my exam in April? J.A., exams are such a huge thing for people right now. Um, is she going to pass? Yes. But what I'm going to do, anything stopping or blocking anyone from passing any test or exam, we're going to clear that now. Any self-sabotage of any type for anyone listening, oh, we're going to clear that also. We're going to clear, heal, release that. We're going to let all of this go, heal it, all that caused it, all that kept it, pulling it out. Uh, J.A., let me let me know if you feel that. I'm going to go to the, oh, I'm going to go to the next caller, which is 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, it's Jennifer from Canada. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Excellent. Thank you. How can I help you? Um, I've been thinking about retiring. Would retire? What would the best time frame for me to retire be um, within the next? Well, whenever uh, financially, you know, um, meant for my mental health. Okay, so, you know, I, I'm going to say a couple of things here. Um, I hear that you can retire anytime, but what, what you want to do, what you can do, and what you will do are different things, okay? Um, yeah. I do feel like it's going to be, as everything sits right now, it's going to be 2025. When I ask, will you retire in 2024? No, you could if you wanted to, but it's just not quite bad enough yet. <laughs> um, not quite bad enough yet. Okay. Now in 2025, you're going to start really prepping for that retirement. You're going to really be like, that's it. This is the last year. I feel like by or in the month of September 2025, you will be making that move to retirement. You will be in that space where you feel very comfortable about it. I do feel like there's never a time when you're going to, where any of us are going to, where most of us are going to feel like, yep, I, 
I'm, I'm going to be solid now. You know, it's all a wish and a prayer it, with everything in the world right now. But I feel like by, by September of 2025, you're going to feel like this, I'm, I'm good. I feel comfortable doing it right now. Now, could you do it sooner? Absolutely. You're just not going to be, I always say, when the pain is worse than the payout is when we make the move. <laughs> so the pain just, you know, you can be in a relationship for 20 years. That's not a very good relationship, but the pain is not worse than the payout yet. And then that one thing happens and the, 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 the pain becomes um, worse than the payout. And you're like, that's it. And that's what they call the straw. Sometimes the straw that broke the camel's back or however we want to say that. So I feel like something's going to happen in February of 2025. Yep. 25, a year from now, something's going to happen. They're going to change something. I hear the word schematics and you're going to say, I need to, I need to just, I need to do, I need to solidify this now. And what that could be is sometimes if we have IRAs or retirement plans or whatever people call those things, they might be saying effective this date, we're going to X, Y, Z. And you're like, oh no, you're not. And that, that will affect new people <laughs> more than you. But as soon as you get that, the fear of what they're saying they're going to do is going to be stronger than the fear of any security outside of there. And you're going to make that jump. Um, I feel like it's going to come down to that. But remember, Jennifer, remember, Jennifer, remember. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Once you're out of that, it doesn't mean, and you retire and you start collecting all your beautiful bennies, it doesn't mean you can't do your own side hustle, which you could start now mm -hmm. if you wanted to and have that start to grow so that by the time that comes, you can get your beautiful bennies and still be bringing in money, just not from a corporate head. Does that make sense to you, love? 110 percent okay so the sooner you whatever that thing on the side that passion or that like i could do this like that whatever that is start start tinkering with it now and just let it um uh, let it let it get let it ride let it start doing it now and then let it grow let it grow with you okay love thank you so much take oh, care tony you too and thank you so much for calling in i'm really grateful for your call and thank you for staying on from canada okay everybody the call in number is 845-277-9131 yes i do private readings t-o-n-i-g dot i n f o tony g dot info is the website if you would like a private reading you can go right over there all the details are there and you can uh look into that um and then what what else what else what else um uh, yes if you want to call in and ask a question um thank you everybody who's waiting on the call log to ask a question i'm going to go to the next question um here i'm going to try to find a question so um uh, Heather wants to know, can you, <clears throat> can you connect to Matt, my brother? Yes, I'm hearing yes. So let me, um, let me, uh, um, Heather, let me look at this. So the first thing, Heather, he's making me crack up. So the first thing I'm hearing him say is, don't do it. But like jokingly, don't do it. If that makes sense, Heather, 
please chime in and let me know. As a matter of fact, I'm all the way at the bottom of the feed so I can see you chime in. Uh, don't do it. Like it's it's kind of funny the way he's saying it. Like you better not do that. You're going to get in trouble. Like don't do it. So that's what he is saying there. And then the next thing he would want to say is it's been a long time. He is always uh, around you. And for some reason... Heather, he's showing me like a, I want to describe this appropriately, like a baby animal, but it was a big animal. It would have been a bigger animal, not a small, not like a baby puppy or a kitten. It's like a bigger, it grows up and be, be bigger, becomes bigger, um, like a like a goat or a cow or something. I don't know why he's showing me that, but like a kind of like a farm setting. Okay. Um, and then he's saying, um, I wouldn't, I, I have no regrets. I have no, uh, um, I have no regrets. I wouldn't change it. It, it was, it was a wild ride, but it was my ride. I, Heather, please, please, please let me know if that makes sense for you. Um, he also wants to say, um, enjoy, uh, like he's singing that song, loving every minute of it, mm. loving every minute of it. And I, I, I've heard that song, obviously, but I can't think of the next line. So that's, he's saying, you know, as per your life and with your kiddos, just take on the anthem. I'm loving every minute of it. I'm not going to spend another single moment in regret or sadness or worry. We're just going to love our way through this as far as um, our lives in general. And I'm sorry, I have to say this on the air, Heather, lose the losers and move on. Um, I that is that is the message. I'm going to stop there, Heather. Um, please enjoy that message. I'm so grateful it was able to come through today. Um, and and yes, I'm going to go. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the next caller who is 404. 404, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hi, um, I'm Toria and I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, how can I help you today, love? Yes, um, I would love to see, um, I guess, what you see for my love life. Okay, when I ask if you're with someone, I get a no. Is that correct? Does she have a love partner? I get is are you currently in a relationship? Um no, I um yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry. <yeah. laughs> I didn't want to give, I guess, like more information than I need to, I guess. Like, well, sometimes um, it like, just helps yeah. it go faster. So I feel I'm hearing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there was a recent breakup, but that person is still around. Lingering. Okay, so thank you for saying yes. that because I hear, I, I'm hearing no, but I'm feeling like we be creeping like somebody trying to creep yeah. into your energy or keep some kind of little connection. Like even though it's done, they think they're still, they still got a shot. I could go back if I wanted to. That's the energy I get. And no, no, no. The door is not only closed. It is a steel door reinforced. You are not allowed back in. And that is per the people upstairs. That's not even per you, my love. They're like done, done, and over. Um, you need to really be committed to letting that go. And I'm going to do this for you and anybody else who has recently ended something. And it's just time to move on. And spring is the perfect time to move on. So uh, 
all has been disconnected. Um, let's clear that, make sure all ties, connections, everything have been removed. Let's uh, do that. And you may feel something coming uh, in the middle between your, your, I call them, I almost call them your tailbone, but your shoulder bones. You may feel something between your tailbones or any place else. Um, be, right where in the front, it would be your heart, but it, it comes in the back. Sometimes these ties, um, we're going to disconnect that and you're moving forward. I get a solid yes on you moving forward. Um, I'm going to tell you something before I tell you what's coming in for you. I'm going to tell you why the people upstairs are saying done and over is because if this, partic this particular person has done things shady, shady, shady things behind your back. Um, and, and if this person comes back, you may not know the truth, but others will. But even more importantly, they will do it again. Whatever this person has done, I hear a three-peat, meaning it's happened once, it's happened twice, it's happened again, it will happen again. So it's like a cycle that keeps going. Um, now, now here's what I'm going to say. What's your age, beautiful? Um, I'm 34. Excellent. Excellent. That's gorgeous. That's a, that's the perfect age. That is such a gorgeous age. Um, and, and this is, this is why it's a gorgeous age. You know, there are mere committed relationship ages for men who who are looking for committed relationships, your age right now is one of them. So if you're looking for someone close to your age at that age, if they haven't committed already, they're ready to. Okay. Um, they're at that point where I think I have everything in my life together. I have played long enough. I'm ready for a serious commitment. I'm going to tell you, there's a person coming into your life. This person is more professional. Um, they meaning they have a more professional career. I do believe they work for a company. They may not own their own business, but they do work for someone in a professional capacity. Now, you're going to have the choice between two people. One of them is more of a hands-on type of like a mechanic or something like that. The other person is more in a, a more of a professional career. That's the person you're going to end up going towards as it sits right now. That's the person who is looking for the serious relationship. Um, when you first meet this person, they're going to be very nervous and a little awkward. That's good. That's what we want. Okay. We want we want that because that means they really like us. If they show up all Rico, Suave, Jorge-ish, um, that means they <laughs> are very comfortable wooing and winning a prize, but not necessarily keeping it. Okay. And when they're all like uh, casual about it and oh yeah, da, 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 that, that means they may not, you know, you're one of rather than the one. Um, so what I'm going to say for you right now, right here is Within six months, but near the, in between the five and six month mark is the strongest point. It could be at the four month mark, but between the five and six month mark, you're definitely somebody should come in by that time. Take this time to fix yourself. Now, just because it's not right now, do not take Mr. Lola Lova back because that will put you in a whole nother it won't be like, oh, well, we're just going to, you know, it's not for, four, we're just going to, no, it'll put you in a, it will push everything back, okay? Let this past person okay. be done because that's never going to change. The dynamics, I can tell you right now, who's a, that dynamic will not change. That person is that person. The person that your friend thinks that person is, that's who they are. You're, you know, love is, love makes us see the good in people, not the good for nothing in people, right? right. We don't that realize that until, that 
Yeah, we start to see when we move on to the next person is when we start to see who the old person was because somebody's coming in and treating us better and doing better by us. And then we can look back and go, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Why did I put up with that for so long? So what I'm going to say to you is do not under any weakness, moments, temptations, even entertain this. Keep it pushing to the next person that's going to be in again that uh, five to six month mark. It could start in the fourth, four months from now, but but hold on. Uh, I hear that song, hold on, help is on the way. Excuse my cracky voice. Um, so I feel like that's going to be it for you. And then, then that person is looking for something very serious. Okay, love? Okay, awesome. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. So pretty much keep them as, um, well, I have a kid with them. So, I mean, keep it co-parenting, keep it moving, I guess. <laughs> yeah, keep it, keep, keep, draw a line and do not cross it. Now, for women, we have very, a different, difficult time holding our boundaries. So I tell women, change the word from boundaries to rules, because we can uphold rules with our children where we can't uphold boundaries, but we can uphold rules with people where we can't up so write your rules out for you as far as this person goes keep everything text email you know written no conversations um out of the house pickups and drop-offs if possible just keep it clean keep it a very clean thing okay love Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. You are so welcome, and you have an amazing rest of the week. And thank you so much for calling in. Awesome. You too. Thank you. Okie dokie. I am going to go to the next uh the next question. If I can find the next question. Um uh okay nancy wants to know any messages from my aunt nancy i hear yes and i'm just going to close my eyes and let this one go whatever the message is elizabeth we're going to get you what we can today your aunt nancy wants you to know you're doing better than you think you are don't be so hard on yourself and don't be so critical of yourself especially the way you look and feel everybody has their up days and down days uh, just do the best you can. Um, your Aunt Nancy is saying, do what you can to get yourself back to where you want to be. And that could mean like with workout, with eating professionally, whatever it is for you, Elizabeth. What I'm also hearing from your Aunt Nancy is um, that song. Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. So that's what she would want to say to you. That like makes my heart so happy for you, Elizabeth. Man, oh man. Um, but you're not only beautiful on the outside, you're also beautiful on the inside. So please stop being so hard on yourself. Uh, love, love yourself the way I love you and your whole world will change. Jesus. Those are facts. Those are facts. Elizabeth, I hope that was very, very, very helpful for you. Um, hey, Laura, welcome to the show. Um, uh, ah, Laura, the message, I can give you a quick message from Spirit. Very quick because I'm about to 90 seconds. There it is. I probably can't, Laura, because it might take a minute to do that. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. I can't. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say, everybody. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. You can call into the show. You can put questions in the chat. And I would stay on if I could, but I do have private appointments. But please remember, this show airs on TV, so it has to stay within that 60-minute mark for TV. 60 seconds. I love all of you so very much. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. Thank you.